I know you like getting your nails done, huh? I mean, me, I go to the nail shop at least once every two weeks. I like to change my colors. I like to, well, pink. I stick with pink, but different colors of pink. It's gonna look like a gender reveal, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's me and you pregnant. Oh my God. I'm not, I'm not, okay, I'm not. No, no, don't, don't even worry about that one though. We ain't gonna worry about that. We can work with that. to Rutgers, played for the Vivian Stringer, who was about everything but basketball. She made sure we were humble, respectful. It's so crazy because when I took my visit to Rutgers, you know, I never really thought I was like big time, but like I was enjoying those visits and you know, I was kind of cool on my on my visit and she didn't like my energy. She, she, wasn't, feeling she wasn't feeling it. She okay. was like, you having a good time? Like, is everything okay? And I'm uh -huh. like, it's cool. And she was just like, like, do you want to be here? And I'm like, yeah. And she was like, you know what, I'm gonna take that scholarship. Like, she took my scholarship on my visit, on my official visit. Yeah, she's like, you need to act yeah, like you really yeah. wanna be here. <laughs> well, that was the first major, like, humble for me. Like, you can be replaced. Yeah. I can go out and get another you, if not better. That's something I'll never forget. Coach Walls, he was honest about everything. And I respect that more than anything because I don't want you to just tell me what I want to hear. I want to be a pro. Like, I went in there telling him, I want to be a pro. I want to do this. I want to do that. He said, well, you're not going to like me some days. And he was right about that, 100%. You want to go to a, a coach that's going to really make you better, not just tell you what you want to hear. When I went to Rutgers, I didn't even know I wanted to play in the WNBA, for real. For real. But when I went there and I saw like Rutgers breed pros, mm -hmm. like you, you got Cappy, you got yeah. Essence, Mati, like it was so many pros. And I'm like, Kia Vaughn, and like everybody was so successful. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, WNB players come from here. So right. that's cool. where I want to go. Self-care is just super important because we are always on the go. So to find time for yourself, you perform better. You want to be confident. You got to take care of yourself. That's important. When you look good, you feel good. You play good. There you Got go, me. right there. Come on now. I started playing, I really started in the fourth grade, but it's funny how it happened though, because I was originally looking for the cheerleading. Oh my. <laughs> That's so I went, right there. It's so me. Then I saw basketball, and you know, I always watched my dad play, I watched my older brothers play. As a kid, you usually run around. No, I was watching that game, like I was locked in. So I went and tried out come home the next day, I'm like, I made the team. <laughs> I made the team. So the first game, scored four points and had two steals. Ooh. So, hey, I was ready after that. I was playing like at the park from like a young, young age. Like I had to play with the boys. It wasn't a lot of girls leagues. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. where I really got that competitiveness and that toughness. Cause mm -hmm. one, boys don't want you to beat them. And mm -hmm. then they was never taking it easy. So yeah. I'm like, I don't care, I'm a girl. I'm still gonna beat y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm talking a little trash, they talking right. trash. So I think that directly translate to who I am now and I how I step on the court and start competing. We just got that edge to ourselves and to our game. And that's what keep us going, I think. You never forget where you came from. Mm -hmm. I think because it has shaped us so much, we're giving back. I like when people are just original. I agree. Be yourself. Do what works for you. It don't work for everybody. Everybody don't want to have their lashes done or nails done, but if it works for you, do you. You can look however you want to look on the court. Like, you don't want to have to look rough because we play basketball. I didn't have a me. Exactly. So right. when I'm doing my camps and the, these young girls are having direct access to a WNBA player, mm -hmm. a WNBA champion. All star. I mean, <laughs> like, that's what it's about for me is mm -hmm. inspiring that next generation and having them be inspired and wanting to create that cycle. So mm -hmm. that's why my camp is like super important. But I saw you did a camp. I mean, I think I just get inspired by you. I don't know. I just, I feel like my camp was the first year. So it's, it's growing, yeah, but I'm a little sis. So I'm just trying to be like you one day, man. Nah, I'm trying to get like you. I just like to be like an inspiration for for the younger generation, and especially the ones that's like not tall, think about it. It's a lot of players that feel like they're too short. It's hard, but you can do it. So I want to be the inspiration to the to the young ladies that are more on the five, 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 six side, <laughs> and let them know that you can do it too.
but it's gonna be a little girl and she gonna be like, I was at Dana camp. Dana inspired me and, and now, you know what? I'm gonna have a camp in Gary too, like Dana did. Yeah. So you wait a little bit and you gonna see somebody gonna come out of Gary, just a little kid from okay. Gary. <laughs> Next up. It's crazy because I just saw somebody commit. His name's Karan Davis. He grew up with my little brother. He just committed to Louisville oh, where I went. Uh -huh. So it's like, everything is just full circle. Just seeing that, it's like, you kind of starting something. And just seeing the next generation just grow, I love to see it. Watching the next generation is amazing. I love to see the young girls dunking. Kiyomi? Oh Kiyomi. yeah. She's the fire. handles. I love the handles. Fire. It's something about her swag. It's just like her demeanor. She but got something to her. You should be able to 1000% be yourself mm -hmm. on the court. It's somebody inspired her to be herself and she's sure. definitely inspiring the generation below her to be competitive, mm -hmm. you know, be yourself. Look cute on the court. Look cute and yeah. talk stuff. Yeah. Like, we could do that. Yeah. Just cause we look cute don't mean we can't get a little feisty. Yeah. I like Deja Kelly too. UNC. Yeah. yeah. I like Deja Kelly. I like Diamond Miller. I love her game. He's pro ready. She got a little dog in her too. Yeah. What's real crazy is I just really start getting my nails done very consistently. Make sure you looking good. Hair gonna be done too. I mean, we don't play like that. Nah, that's one thing that's going. I ain't never leaving that out. I mean, if I might I not get them nails done, but I'm gonna get that. But the hair gonna be done. I mean, hair gotta be done. For sure. How do you feel knowing like this is your team? I was always a leader, mm -hmm. but I always could, you know, take a short back seat because I had Candace, I had Sloot, you know, I had them, but now it's, it's like it's me. Yeah. And I know what I wanted in my leaders. So that's gotta be me. No doubt I'm ready. I have the experience. I'm more of a lead by example anyway. And I know how I want the team to be. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as a culture standpoint, you know, we, we talk sure. in culture big first, on culture. big on culture. Mm -hmm. The basketball and the skills are gonna come. You know, we have the talent. How are you approaching this season, you know, with it being so wide open? I'm just ready to just show what I can do. You know, I'm just happy that it finally came. I think I'm ready for the moment though. I think I've been preparing for it. And and it's finally here and I'm ready to take it on. You know what it takes and you know what, what we have to bring every single day. So don't ever think that you're like, you're too young that like, nah, you gotta be very vocal. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta be very consistent. Like I think this year our approach has gotta be different. I'm gonna make sure that, Dana, what, you talking, you counting? You, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> everything. Like I'm not even, I'm not even playing games yeah. because you know, like we have the blueprint, mm -hmm. you know, like when, when Candace came and I was like, yo, you got the blueprint. Like mm -hmm. she's taught me so many lessons and so many things. We have that now and we know how to win a championship. So we just gotta lead the train to the destination. What you get on your nails? So you know my favorite color is pink. Pink, 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 that's me. The baby blue, obviously, Chicago sky, duh. Yeah, that's pretty much me, you? Well, I got my funny bunny base. I'm a funny bunny girl. Not white, okay. white, but it's like a new <laughs> I got a flame. That's just me, I'm just fiery. Woo, the flames had you feeling good. Well, one yourself. finger though, I ain't get carried away. Okay. I always gotta include my son. You see Sunny little paw print right there. <laughs> Chess boards, I'm out there playing chess. Girl. Okay. And I got All a star, right. cause I'm a star. Okay. Like, I got a basketball, cause I play basketball. In the blue, you know. Shot town stand up. Show them things off.